Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today it's been a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. Alright, so it is February 1st, 2013 and as with every February I am offering contract extensions to some players. Um, I think today is going to be almost a little bit more about whom I am not offering extensions uh, rather than whom I am offering extensions to. So, first off, the players that I am going to bring back uh, Derek Grant, Alex Pietrangelo, Mark Borowiecki, Anders Lee, Eric Carlson, and Roman Yossi. So, those guys are going to be coming back for me. Uh, Carlson is getting the biggest raise of the lot. He's making 900,000 right now. He's going to make 4.4 million uh, for three years uh, once he accepts that contract. Among the players that I am not bringing back, uh, Joe Thornton. Uh, I'm not trading him because I need him for the playoff run, but I am not going to be bringing him back. So Joe Thornton is not going to be coming back. Patrick Eves, Eric Condra, Chris Kelly, Martin Ansel, Ryan Whitney. Those are pretty much the biggest names that I will not be bringing back. Uh, after this season so as you can see I am going to be cleaning house a little bit um, I know I've been having issues with injuries this season I haven't been really able to do anything about that uh, but uh, I've been feeling like my lineup needed a little bit of a change for a couple of seasons I mean after all I didn't win the cup for two seasons <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to be moving a lot of uh, my core players away, as in I am not offering them contracts. Now, I know I'm not going to get anything from them, uh, but that's because I'm going to need them for the playoff run. So, yeah, next season the team is going to have a, quite a different look. There's quite a few uh, the regulars that are not coming back. But anyway, alright, so... We are now uh, going to be playing February. Looking at the schedule, it looks like it's going to be an extremely busy month. So let's get going. And it starts today on February 1st as we are hosting the Edmonton Oilers. So Edmonton is still not doing all that great. They are 19-24-4. And, and we are 0-1 against Edmonton this season. So we did lose in Edmonton the first game between us. So hopefully we can go ahead and win now. So the Oilers are going to go with Devon Dominic in net, and we are going to go with Ansi Niemi. And we lost 4-3 again against the Oilers, so both games against the Oilers were 4-3 regular... Uh, not regular, but... Uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, they were both... Yeah, loss in regulation. God, not regular, regulation. There you go. So 4-3 losses in regulation, both of them against Edmonton. Wow, sometimes your brain just doesn't work fully. All right, so we outshot Edmonton 42-26 to in the, into that game. Taylor Hall was the first star with a game. He had three assists. Zach Smith was the second star with a goal, and Sean Orkoff was the third star with an assist. We had 17,950 people in attendance for this game. So Edmonton took a 2 0 lead into the first period, and then Roman Yossi scored from Martin Ansel and Lucas Bisa. It was 2 to 1 Suns at that point, but then Edmonton scored again. So after one, it was 3 to 1 Edmonton. Then Edmonton scored again in the second period, made it 4 to 1, and then we scored twice. Zach Smith scored from Eric Carlson and Brooks Like, and then Sam Gagne made it 4 3 Edmonton after two. But nobody would score into the third period, which means we were not able to tie the game up, and we lost this game 4-3. to three. All right, not a good start. Oh, and Lucas Biza got hurt. Another great start to the mount. I forgot to say go, sends go. That's why, I'm sure. Right, I'm going to put Biza on the injured reserve, and I'm going to recall somebody. Hmm. I 
I'm gonna recall Chris Weidman. I think I'm pretty much done with Ryan Whitney. He's unhappy. He's overpaid. He's in the minors. He's not playing well. And time to move away from from him. All right. Oh boy, Eugene Melnick has moved from very happy to happy to satisfied with my work. We did go 7-4-1 last month, but uh, yeah, that's just to say that he only will accept excellence and nothing else. Alright, so we have agreed with terms on a contract with Eric Carlson, with Pietrangelo, with Roman Yossi, Borowiecki, uh, Derek Grant and Anders Lee. And I need to give a number to Chris Wyman. Alright, and now we are going to be playing in Pittsburgh. So we have two games in tonight. So we're going to play in Pittsburgh and then we're going to have a very important game against the Montreal Canadiens in Montreal. So, yeah. Alright, so for Fernando Pisani and... David Clarkson are both available on waivers. Uh, suspension for P.A. Paranto. Pierre-Alexandre Paranto got suspended in Anaheim. He's going to miss five games. Oh, Devin Dubnik, after beating us, got a contract extension for six years. They don't say for how much, but six years in Edmonton. Six more years. Alright, so we are going to face Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is doing really well. They are 35, 8, and 5. That's good for fourth in the East because somehow Philadelphia is even better than them. Uh, we are 1 and 2 against Pittsburgh this season. I believe that's going to be our last game of the season against them. Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us. Mark andre Fleury is going to be in net for Pittsburgh. And we won 6-2. All right, pretty good game. Uh, shots were tied, 33 apiece. Petrus Bergeron was the first star of the game. He had four assists. Brooks Lake was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Braden Chen was the third star with two assists. Uh, Martin Ansel opened up the scoring in the first, assisted by Braden Shen, and then Pittsburgh tied the game. But then Alexander Radulov scored on the power play from Petrus Bergeron, and it was 2 to 1 cents after one. Then in the second period, Radulov scored again on the power play, again from Joe Thornton, and then Eric Carlson from Braden Shen and Petrus Bergeron, and then Zdeno O'Shara from Petrus Bergeron and Brooks Like. It was Shara's fifth of the season, and we were up 5 1 after 2. And then in the third period, uh, Brooks Like scored from Petrus Bergeron and Alex Pietrangelo. It was 6 1. At that point, then Pittsburgh scored again, made it 6-2, but it was too little too late for them. We did beat them 6-2, so nice victory. Strong game from Bergeron, we witnessed that. We need another one like that from him tomorrow against the Habs. Alright, so uh, Cam Paddock, Daniel Carcillo... Uh, Vitaly Kolesnik and Jan Dennis are all available on waivers. Big game from Matt Niskanen in Dallas. He had four assists against Tampa Bay. Ooh. Alright, so Brad Marchand and Jonathan Sigalet are in trouble in Boston for some dressing room shenanigans. Alright, they were doing pranks and whatnot. 
All right, so we are in Montreal. They are pretty good. They are 34, 14, and 2. That's good for 5th in the East. Very important game against them. And we have not beat the ha beaten the Habs this season. They are 34, 14, and 2. Yes, which I already said. We have not beaten them till we are 0 1 and 1 against them this season. Wow, my brain is struggling today. What's going on? I might uh, might be becoming a zombie or something. I'm losing faculties in my brain. All right, so we are in Montreal. We have Ansin Yemi and Net. They are going with Yaroslav Alak. And we won 3 0 good important game and we managed to win and not allow them any goals so we outshot Montreal 32 24 in that one Eric Carson was the first star of the game he had two goals Braden Chen was the second star with two assists and Patrick Keyes was a, was the third star with an assist uh, all of our goals we scored in the first period so Brooks like scored his 10th from Patrick Keyes then Eric Carson from Martin Ansel and Braden Chen then Eric Carson again on the power play from Jacob Silverberg and Braden Chen it was three nothing sons after one and it stuck all the way to the end of the game. Oh, we took quite a few penalties in the third period. But uh, we managed. Yeah, we gave Montreal seven power plays and they couldn't score. So, yeah. Uh, Jeff Schultz is available on waivers. All right, and there's been a contract extension between between Braden Oldby and the Washington Capitals. He is signed for another four years, three point one one million per season. Well, it seems pretty cheap for how good Oldby is. Pretty good deal for the Caps, mostly. All right, so we have a little bit of a break here, and then we're gonna host the miserable Carolina Hurricanes now it's no no shot on that at them in real life in my save they are just terrible so Brent Johnson is available on waivers not picking him up I cannot anyway even if I wanted to Uh, Fra uh, Francis Bouillon is back from suspension in Tampa Bay, back in the lineup over there. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 12 games. He had three assists against the Devils. That was eight straight games with an assist for him. And Sidney Crosby in that same game had a great game as well. He had three goals and two assists. And a strong night for Aaron Palouchage with St. Louis. He had a hat-trick against the Jets. Right. So Carolina is in town. They are, as you know, very bad. They are 8 41 and 4. That's good for a dead last in the East. And I don't think they will climb out of that. Uh, we are 2 0 against Carolina this season. All right, so Cam Ward is going to be a net for the Hurricanes. We are going to Brian Elliott. And we won 5 nothing, So two shutouts in a row. Um, we outshot the Hurricanes 40-11. to Petrus Bergeron was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Patrick Werkach was the second star of the game. He had a goal and an assist as well. And Alex Pietrangelo was the third star with a goal. 17,580 people in attendance for this game. Patrick, Patrick Werkach opened up the scoring in the first. I believe that was his first NHL goal from Braden Chen. It was 1-0 Suns after 1. Then in the second period, Joe Thornton scored from Patrick Eves and Eric Carlson. And then Eric Condra from Patrick Werkach and Patrice Bergeron. It was 3-0 Suns after 2. Very few penalties so far. And then in the third period, Alex Pietrangelo was scored from Sam Gagné and then Petrus Bergeron from Roman Yossi and Brooks like. 5 0 Sens was the final score. We did take a few penalties in the third, but the Hurricanes couldn't score. 
Marc-André Clich is available on waivers. Zach Parisi has a great game with the Devils. He had a hat-trick against the Flames. James Van Riemsdyk extends his point streak to 12 games with two goals against Florida. Tyler Sagan has a strong game as well. He had a hat-trick against Anaheim. Oh, and there's been a trade between Montreal and Anaheim. So JT Wyman and Marc-André Clich are going to Anaheim for Jake Dowell and William Mitchell. Uh, Willie Mitchell is past being useful for an NHL team in my universe. He's only an alpha star player. Yeah, I'm not sure who got the upper on. That's a pretty minor trade here. They traded basically two of uh, two defensive minded forwards, one for one, with two spare parts in between. Yarmir Jagger's point streak ended at 12 games, so he couldn't get a point against Montreal. So his assist streak, of course, is also over. Doug Wilson lost his job as the coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And he's going to be replaced by Mike Yeo. All right, and we are playing yet again two games in two nights. Um, we are hosting Calgary today, and then we're going to play in Buffalo tomorrow, and it's going to be a home and home against Buffalo, actually. Uh, we have two of those this month. We're also going to have a home and home in two nights against the Islanders a little bit down the road here. All right, but first, the Flames. Now, the Flames are doing pretty okay. They are 26, 18, and 6, so that's pretty decent. Uh, we are 1 0 against the Flames this season. We beat them 4 0 in Calgary. All right, so Craig Anderson is going to be in net for the Flames, and we are going to go with Brian Elliott. Ooh. We won eight to nothing. So another shout out. So that's three shout outs in a row. So we're doing okay so far. We did lose the first game of the month, but so far we're not doing too bad. Uh, Ottawa outshot Calgary 45 to 18 in this game. Patrick Eves was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with two assists. And Eric Carlson was the third star with a goal and an assist. 15,742 people in attendance for this game. So we scored three times in the first period. Braden Shen scored from Alexander Radulov and then David Leguan from Alexander Radulov as well. And then Patrick Eve scored his 10th from Drew Doughty and Brooks like. Three nothing sends after one. Then in the second period, uh, Eric Carlson scored from Joe Thornton and Patrick Eves, and then Patrice Bergeron scored his 15th on the power play from Eric Carlson and Alexander Radulov. It was 5-0 after two. And then uh, we scored three more in the third period. Chris Kelly scored his 10th from Joe Thornton and Patrick Eves. Then Braden Shen scored on the power play from Drew Doughty and Patrice Bergeron. And then Alex Petrangelo scored from Brooks Like and Roman Yossi. 8 nothing at that point. Calgary was pretty happy that game was over. We won 8 nothing. And Sean Thornton of Calgary is back from suspension after this game against us. Now Keith Ballard is available on waivers. James Van Riemsdyk's point streak ended at 12 games. He did not get a point against the Oilers. Nikolai Antropov has recorded 1,000 games played in his career. Celebrated that with an assist. That happened against the Habs. Nick Antropov, 32 years old, still a one-star and a half player. Oh, Ryan Miller extended in Boston. Uh, so he's going to make $5.64 million per season for two years on his new contract extension. And then there's bit and then Boston was so busy after that they made a trade with the Kings. They traded Peter Riggin to the Kings for Jesse Schultz. Uh, 
All right, and now we are headed to Buffalo. So like I said previously, it's going to be a home and home against the Sabres here. So Buffalo, uh, they have slowed down a little bit for the for a little while there. It looked like they were fighting for a playoff spot, but they've been losing lately. So now they are 25, 24 and 3. And that's good for ninth in the East. We are 4 and 0 against Buffalo this season. And we're going to go with Ansi Niemi for that game. And Ben Scrivens is going to be in net for Buffalo. And we won 6-1. Another pretty good game for us. Uh, we outshot Buffalo 45-27. to Eric Carlson was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Alex, Alex Pietrangelo was the second star with two assists. And Eric Condro was the third star with two assists as well. So we scored three times in the first. Eric Carlson scored his 15th from Eric Condro and Petrus Bergeron. And then Zach Smith scored his 5th from Sam Gagne. Braden Shen scored his 25th from Joe Thornton. It was 3 0 Sands after 1. Buffalo uh, reduced the lead in the second with a goal, but it was still 3 1 Ottawa at the end of the second period. And then in the third, we scored three more goals. Eric Carlson scored from Alex Pietrangelo. Brooks like from Alex Pietrangelo and Eric Carlson. And finally, Patrick Werkach from Roman Yossi and Eric Kondra. 6-1 the final score. So we take game one of the home and home against the Buffalo Sabres. We're playing them again in a, a tomorrow here. And I believe that's going to be the last game of the season against Buffalo. So if we beat them, that's it. We we will have swept them for the season series. Roman Cervenka in Calgary lights the lamp. He had four goals against Dallas. Pretty good game. Ooh, the GM could lose his job in Minnesota. So Jeff Gorton might lose his job as the GM in Minnesota. Now they also are thinking about getting, ri getting rid of uh, Joel Quenville. Or did they already? They might have. I don't quite remember. I'm sorry. I know that he got into trouble and the Wild is not doing very good. They are 23... Eight and three. Well, I guess we could. We could check. No, he's still the head coach. So Minnesota still is uh, still as Quenville as the head coach, but now they're thinking about changing both the GM and the coach. So they are sick and tired over there. They just want uh, a fresh start at this point. All right, and now Buffalo is in town, and with our with their loss against us, they are now 25, 25, and 3, still ninth in the East. Let's see if we can have a perfect record against them this season. Uh, Tim Thomas is going to be in net for them. We are going to Brian Elliott. And we won for nothing, so Buffalo was not able to beat us this season, and it might eventually be the reason why they don't make the playoffs. Um... We outshot them 41 to 15. Braden Chen was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Patrick Eves was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Zeden Oshar was the third star with a goal. Nobody scored in the first period. Then in the second, Roman Yossi scored his fifth from Alexander Redlov and David Leguan. And it was 1 0 Sens after two. Then we scored three goals in the third period. Zdeno Shara scored from Braden Shen and Patrick Eves. Then Patrick Eves from Braden Shen and Chris Kelly. And then finally, Braden Shen scored on the power play from Eric Carlson and Petrus Bergeron. And it was a 4 nothing affair here in Ottawa against the Buffalo Sabres. Ooh, the Islanders have finally decided to waive Rick Pietro and his big 
contract. Now, is he didn't sign a contract like he did in real life. That 15-year contract was something else. Um, but yeah, he has started to decline in abilities. Only a one-star goaltender now. Um, Milan Lucic is suspended in Boston. He's going to miss one game. Oh, now the Hurricanes made an interesting trade. So Carolina traded Keith Ballard and Roman Amerlik to Anaheim for Pierre-Alexandre Peranto and Matt Lassoff. So Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Carolina starting to make a few moves. Now Pierre-Alexandre Peranto is not a superstar or anything like that, but you should be able to score a few goals for them. They don't have a lot of offense. So Carolina trying to get better. They picked off uh, Simeon Varlamov off waivers earlier this season, and now they traded for Pierre-Alexandre Peranto. Good for them. And with that being said, we have a trade proposal from the New York Rangers. You want to trade me Warren Peters for Mike Hoffman? Yeah, right. No. No, 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 no. No. I said no. All right. Uh, we have a few days off here before we play in Pittsburgh next, and Marty Turco is uh, on waivers. Lucas Bisa might be back soon. We got another trade offer. This time from Calgary, they are offering us Chad LaRose for Stefan da Costa. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that custard just in case. I'm not expecting too much from him, but you never know. Uh, Milan Lucic is back from suspension in Boston, back in the lineup. Uh, Derek Dorsett in Dallas is suspended, he's going to miss three games. And Lucas Biza is back from injury. And he can come back. So to the active roster you go. And we're going to send Chris Weinman back down. Yeah, we're going to stick to Lucas Bisa, but Chris Weinman is starting to develop a little bit. So he might start the season in Ottawa next season. We'll see. All right, playing in Toronto, they are 21, 29, and 2. That's good for 11th in the East, and we are 2 and 1 against the Leafs this season. All right, so Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us, and Jonas Gustafsson is going to be in net for Toronto. And we lost 4-3, so another loss this month, and another loss against a Canadian team. Uh, we outshot Toronto 55-16. to Bruno Gervais was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Eric Condro was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Eric Cole was the third star with two goals. All right, so nobody scored into the first period, and then Toronto scored four goals in the second period, and they were up 4 nothing after two. And we didn't give up, though, but uh, we we came up one short. We scored three goals in the third. Chris Kelly scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Eric Kondra. Then Red Love scored on the power play from Braden Shen and Drew Doughty. And then Eric Kondra from Zden Oshar and Drew Doughty. And it was 4-3 to three for Toronto, of course, and we lost that game. Uh, Gilbert Brule is available on waivers. Roberto Luongo played in his 800th game of his career against Colorado. And he won that game, so 33 years old, Roberto Luongo is still a 2.5 star goaltender. Memorable night for John Tavares in that same game, he had 3 goals and an assist. Oh, P.A. Paranto is back from suspension, so he was suspended in Anaheim, so now he's back from suspension and he's going to be able to start playing in Carolina. Uh, 
And speaking of suspension, it is now Rafitar's turn with the Panthers to be suspended. He's going to miss 11 games. What is the record in my playthrough? Something like 17 games. Uh, isn't it like Sergei Fedorov that got it too or something like that? Curious to see if Rafi Torres can beat that. Oh, Carey Price is hurt in Montreal. He has a dislocated jaw. They don't say for how long. Shouldn't be to a dislocated just it's not a fractured jaw, so a dislocated just shouldn't take as that long, I wouldn't think. Of course, keep in mind I, I am no doctor, but Alright, and now we are going to have our home and home against the Islanders, so it's gonna be back to back. So we're starting in New York against the Islanders, and then tomorrow we're gonna move uh, at home to play against the same Islanders team, obviously. So we are in Long Island tonight. They are 32 18 and 4, so that's a pretty uh, decent record, and they are 7th in the East with it. We are 1 0 against the Islanders this season. Alright, so Brian Elliott in net for us, and he's going to face Roberto Luongo, who just reached reached a pretty good milestone. And we lost 2-0. Wow, okay. So that's what, two losses in a row now? So we outshot the Islanders 31-21. Roberto Luongo was the first out of the game. He had 31 saves in the winning endeavor. Uh, Alex Pietrangelo was the second star without any point, and Kyle Pozo was the third star with a goal. Alright, so the Islanders scored in the second period, and then they also scored in the third. Checking to see if there were any fights or anything, but not really. We had seven power plays, and we could not score on them. Alright, strong night for Yarmir Jagger. He had four assists against Carolina. No one could stop Sidney Crosby in that same game. He had four goals and two assists. And that was five straight games with a goal for him. Big game for Gabriel Landeskog in Colorado. He had a hat trick against the Oilers. Right. All right, and now the Islanders are in town. They beat us yesterday. We're going to try to avoid losing again. So hopefully we can beat them this time. So it's the start of a four-game home stretch that ends with a home game against Montreal. So it's going to be another important game there. They are still trading us by only two points. So we need to win. Win, win, win. Uh, Roberto Luongo is in net for the Islanders yet again. We're going to Ansiniemi for that one. This time we win 5-1. We outshot the Islanders 25-21. Braden Chen was the first out of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Patrick Eves was the second star with a goal and an assist as well. And Petrus Bergeron was the third star with an assist. 18,141 people in attendance for this game. The Islanders actually scored first in that one, but then we had Sam Gagne tie the game with his fifth of the season from Chris Kelly. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Brooks like scored from Eric Condra and Petrus Bergeron, and then Zach Smith from Eric Carson. It was 3 to 1 after two for the Suns. And then Braden Chen scored from Patrick Eves and Joe Thornton and Patrick Eves from Braden Chen all in the third period and that was a 5-1 to one victory. Better effort there. Oh, John Tavares is hurt, although it's only day-to-day. -day. Shoulder soreness. So we banged up John Tavares a little bit. <clears throat> I 
Right, and now Joe Pavelski got hurt as well for day to day with a sore hip against Montreal. So uh, we are just about to play the Shark. So we'll see if he's available to play that game against us or not. All right, and then the trade deadline is nearing. So there's only five days left before the trade deadline. We'll see if there's a lot of trades in in the league i need my pieces that i don't want for next season but i need them for this season for my playoff run so and i was not successful in trying to get a replacement for that took and or spezza so kind of thing put again um But yeah, uh, so San Jose is in town. They're 29, 20, and 7. Uh, we have not played San Jose this season so far, which means that our Western American road trip has yet to come. All right, so let's see here what they have. So Mika Kiprusov and Rob Zepp in net. Um, Josh Gorges, uh, Stefan Cronwall, Brad Stewart, Mark Edward, Vlasic, Mikko Littonen, Matt Carl, Dimitri Kulikov, and uh, Scott Annan. On D, uh, it's not, there's not a lot of great puck moving defensemen there. Uh, Melan McCallick, Tuomo Rutu, Victor Stahlberg, Nick Bonino, Logan Kutzer. Tyler Ennis, Marcel Gotch, Tim Stapleton, not sure what's his first name, Daniel Subchenko, Pat Dwyer, Eric Fair, Mark Letestu, and Joe Pavelski, who's hurt and not gonna play this game. Yeah, there's a. There's room for improvement in San Jose. Their team is not completely terrible, but there's there's room for improvement for sure. And it's gonna be probably even more evident today because their only star player at the moment is uh, Joe Pavelski and he's hurt. He's not gonna be playing. So keep yourself in net for San Jose and we are going with Brian Elliott. And we won one nothing shout out. Uh, We'll take it. We outshot San Jose 32 to 14. Roman Yossi was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Tyler Ennis was the second star of the game without any point. And Patrick Werkach was the third star with the lone goal in this game. 17,490 people came out of that game. Uh, still hungry for some goals because there was only one and there was a fight in the second period between Dmitry Kulikov and Zelen Oshara and then uh, about halfway into the third period there was finally a goal Patrick Werkach scored from Roman Yossi and Joe Thornton and one nothing was the final score very short game to report on uh, suspension over for Derek Dorset back in the lineup and Patrick Eliash in Minnesota is hurt and he's going to miss five months with a fractured coracoid bone in his shoulder. That sounds painful. Right, there's only three games left here in February. Uh, so one of them is right now we're going to host the Toronto Maple Leafs. Henrik Zetterberg has produced 900 points in his career. He had an assist against Anaheim. So, 900 points, 32 years old, four star players. So, Henrik Zetterberg. All right, and then we have a trade proposal from the Washington Capitals. They are offering us Stefan de la Rover for Stefan da Costa. So, they want to trade Stefan's. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. Thank you. All right, so Toronto in town. They are 23, 31, and two. They are 11th in the East, and we are two and two against Toronto this season. Struggling against them a little bit here. So hopefully we can turn our fortunes around a little bit. Uh, Jonas Gustafsson is in net for Toronto. We are going to go with Brian Elliott. And we lost 3-1, so we continue to struggle against Toronto. That's not good. 
Uh, we outshot them 36 to 30. Bud Holloway was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Chris Kelly was the second star with a goal, and Matt Unwick the third star with an assist. Um, so we had 18,119 people in attendance for this game. Toronto took a 2 nothing lead into the first period and they were up 2 nothing after 1. Then Chris Kelly reduced the lead in the second period with a power play goal from Alex Petrangelo and Alexander Radulov to a 2-1 to Toronto at that point. There were a bunch of penalties in the second period as well. Then in the third period early, Travis Zajac uh, hurt us with another goal and we never recovered. There was a fight between Martin Ansel, wow, and David Moss in the third period. Wow, Martin Ansel got into a fight. That's, that's something. Right, which Kennedy? Tim Kennedy is on waiver. So, yeah, I, the, they're at, in that time period. There's both Tim Kennedy and Tyler Kennedy playing, and you know, since they only show the first letter of the first name, I never know which one of the two it is. Uh, this time, it's Tim Kennedy that's on waivers. Sean Orkoff has played in 1,000 games and games in his career. Celebrated that with two assists against Phoenix. Uh, 34 years old, Sean Orkoff, still a two and a half star player. Bad news for Tampa Bay, Victor Edman is hurt and he's gonna miss eight weeks with uh, neck laceration. Ugh. That, that brings back memories of Clint Malarchuk and Richard Zednik. And then we have a trade proposal from the Islanders. They are offering us Adam Pellick for Kaspar's Dagovans. Do I want to make that trade? I mean, Adam Pellick has developed into a defenseman that, that's playing in the NHL now. And he's a one star and a half. And I don't have a whole lot of defensive pro the defense prospects. You know what? I think I'm making the trade. There you go. I don't know if Adam Pelek is going to develop or not. He's still young. Yes, time. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of defensive prospects in the system, so let's let's make the trade. Now I need to recall a forward. Do I bring back? Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring back Stefan da Costa. There you go. So I did trade after all, right before the trade deadline. I know it's not a big trade, it's not as fun, but it's still a trade. And it's a trade that makes sense, that's what's most important for me. Uh, Ilya Kovalchuk has a good game, he had three goals and two assists against Anaheim. Pretty good game. All right, and now we are hosting Montreal. It is a very important game. We are only four points ahead of Montreal, and we have a game on hand. We absolutely need to win this game. Montreal is 39, 18, and 3. They are fifth in the East, and we are 1, 1, and 1 against Montreal. All right, so Carey Price is back in the lineup from his, uh, what was it, dislocated jaw. And Antsiniem is going to be in net for us. And we won 5 nothing. Yes, we needed that. So we outshot Montreal 32-19. to Drew Doughty was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Chris Kelly was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Eric Carlson was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. 20,246 people in attendance for this game. Uh, Eric Carlson scored first in the first period. That was a power play goal from Drew Doughty. It was 1-0 Sens after 1. Then in the second period, Chris Kelly scored from Eric Carlson and Drew Doughty. Then Patrick Eves on the power play from Alex Petrangelo and Chris Kelly. And then Drew Doughty on the power play from Patrice Bergeron and Braden Chen. It was 4-0 Sens after 2. And then Eric Condra scored in the third period. That was his fifth from Brooks Like and David Legwan. 5 nothing was the final score. 
pretty good game. We needed that. All right, so Brennan Yip and Alexander Sulzer are available on waivers. Oh, lots of things going on here. Uh, Jacob Voracek keeps fans on their feet uh, all night. So Voracek still playing in Columbus. He had a hat trick against Colorado. All right. Then there's been a trade between Toronto and Buffalo. So. Oh, so Nick Antropov and Andrew McWilliam are going to Buffalo for Chris Tanev and Nico Snellman. Yeah, I, I would say that Toronto got the upper hand here. Nikolai Antropov already played in his thousand game and everything. There's a lot of mileage age on that body. Chris Tanev is a decent defenseman and he's only 23. So Buffalo didn't really make a good trade here. And then we have three... We have three trade proposals, including two from the Sharks. All right, so I'm gonna look at all of them first. So Montreal is offering us Ryan O'Byrne for Mike Hoffman. I'm gonna say no for sure. Ryan O'Byrne in real life scored a goal in his own net. I think it was against the Islanders. Like literally, uh, the Islanders were going to take a penalty. The, the Islanders took a penalty and Montreal pulled their goaltender and Ryan O'Byrne just turn around and shut the puck in his net like he was trying to pass the goaltender or something so I'm not going to get Ryan O'Byrne now the Sharks want Stefan Da Costa and Ryan Whitney so for Stefan Da Costa they are offering me Cliff Watson uh, I don't think so and for Ryan Whitney they are offering me Stefan Cronwall Normally I would say sure, but how much is Stefan Cronwall paid? Ooh, yeah, he's still under contract for a couple years. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. If if it would have uh, been his last year of contract, I would have said sure. Let's go ahead and you know let's see if he plays better for us or something. But yeah, I'm not taking on a contract for a lesser player for a couple more years that doesn't make any sense for me all right all right so there's been one more trade uh that was yesterday was the trade deadline so the uh the blues lost david backus to suspension again that's at least the second time this season that has happened he's going to miss seven games this time Alex Galgoski had a memorable night with Pittsburgh. He had three goals and three assists. Wow. And then there was a trade between the Red Wings and the Sharks. So the Red Wings are sending Jack Skilly and Alexey Morozov to the Sharks for Mark Letestu and Steven Zalewski. Yeah, I think it's pretty much an even trade. I think maybe Letestu is a little bit better than Jack Skilly. Uh, Skilly is three years younger, so who knows. But yeah, I don't think it's a mega trade or anything like that. All right, and we have one more game in February. It is today, and it is against the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, we are going to be playing in Chicago, so Chicago is the best team in the league. They have a ridiculous record of 49-6-5. and five. <laughs> All right. They do have a couple injuries, though. So Evander Kane is hurt. He's not going to be playing that game. And Andrew Shaw is also hurt and not going to be playing this game. Uh, they still have a stack lineup. So Corey Crawford and Jeff Glass in net. Then on D, they have Jason Demers, Duncan Keith, Adam Clendening, Cam Fowler, Nicholas Jean Marson, Brent Seabrook, Barrett Jackman. That's a pretty good D. Uh, up front, they have Brandon Sad, Nigel Dawes. Dustin Jeffrey, Brendan Peary, Joe Vitelli, Dave Bolan, Marcus Kruger, Jonathan Taves, Colin Fraser, who is uh, in bad shape. 
uh, Troy Brower, Mario Nosa, Patrick Kane, Thomas Kopechki, and Kevin A's. So, yeah. We might lose this game. Alright, so in Chicago for the last game of the month, we're gonna have Brian Elliott in net. They are going to have Corey Crawford. And we actually won 3 to 2. Wow. So we outshot. Oh, not only did we win, we outshot them 32 to 10. Zeden Oshar was the first star. He had an assist. Brandon Peary was the second star with a goal. And Drew Doughty was the third star with an assist. So Chicago opened up the scoring in the first period. And then we tied the game up in the second. It was Patrick Keyes from Eric Carlson and Zeden Oshar tied at 1 after 2. And Braden Chen gave us the first lead of the game in the third period from Joe Thornton and then Zach Smith from Stefan Da Costa and Drew Doughty. It was 3 to 1 at that point. Then Chicago reduced the lead to one goal uh, and it was 3 to 2. But we would hold on and win this game 3 to 2 against the Hawks. All right, so bad news for Washington. Alexander Ovechkin is hurt. Ooh. And he's hurt for five weeks with uh, MCL sprain. Not good for Washington, that's for sure. And then Sidney Crosby and Sergei Bobrovsky were the players of the month last month. So, two players from the same division. Heck, two players from the same state uh, won that. Alright, so... We're going to go ahead and take a look. Oh, wait, are we... Yeah, we are March 1st. Okay, so in the East, of course, we are second still. Oh, we... Uh, Montreal has lost some games. We're eight points ahead of them now, so... We can breathe a little better. Um... Now in the West, Chicago is first, of course, they are the best team in the league. Then LA, Calgary, Nashville, Anaheim, St. Louis, San Jose, and Columbus. Oh, and then there's a few teams pushing right behind Columbus. Colorado, Edmonton, Detroit are still pretty much in it. In the East, not so much. After the Panthers with their 71 points it drops to Winnipeg with 55 so Buffalo has been losing a lot of games at one point they were above 500 and they were only a couple points behind 8th place not so much anymore I don't think Buffalo's gonna make the playoffs after all alright we're gonna take a look at, uh, at our stats Alright, so Eric Carlson is still a point per game, 58 and 56. Braden Chen is almost there, 57 and 61. Petrus Bergeron, 54 and 61. And then it just goes down from there. As you can see, Joel Thornton is struggling a little bit compared to pre previous seasons. He has 35 points in 56 games, and it's part of why I am going to be moving away from him. He's still capable, but uh, there's definitely a, definitely a slowdown here. So I don't know if it's a byproduct of losing Spezza and Datsyuk, and he's not able to produce offense on his own. But yeah, it's it's time to move on from Jumbo Joe. Uh, Sidney Crosby has 55 goals. Wow. Okay, and uh, that's 14 more than second place Tavares. Then Yarmir Jagger is the best passer with 67 assists. And Crosby, best scorer with 117 points. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not looking too good over there. Uh, not a great season offensively for us, of course. We lost two of our best offensive players, so that's going to do that to you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save my game, and we are going to stop here for today, so next time out is going to be uh, month of March there, that looks pretty busy, uh, March is always very busy for a team in the NHL, because it's in that last stretch there, so yeah. Alright, so I do want to thank you for tuning in today as usual, and if you've liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff, and until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.